What's up, YouTube? Have a coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room, Jeff Crones Pro Vibe, bringing y'all a video today. Uh, gonna. Where's my phone? There we go. There we go. Almost. Almost. There we go. Alright. Bringing y'all a video today of some fish that nobody has seen yet. Uh, well, a few of you have. The people that I talk to over text message and stuff like that, uh, y'all know I have these fish. Because I just can't keep a secret. Uh, Hefe can't hold water. Um, I, well, <laughs> let me take that back. I'm going to get off on a tangent here. I can, I can keep a secret, but when it comes to new fish and stuff, that's what I mean. I, but take it how you will, whatever. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you all some new fish that I have uh, that no one else has seen yet. Um, you can see some of my dovi back there that were inside the last video uh, near the end. So if you watch my videos to the end, you'll know that I have those dovi, how many of them and stuff like that. So thank you. Um, we're almost at 7,000 subscribers. It's just amazing. It's super awesome. I uh, can't believe, I say that every time, can't believe have that many subscribers. But I really appreciate everybody that watches and subs and likes the videos and dislikes the videos, leaves nasty comments, leaves cool comments. Um, I appreciate all of you. Uh, you know, to those of you that are, you know, that love my videos and leave intellectual comments, I uh, appreciate y'all more, of course. Uh, but to those of you that leave nasty comments, snide comments, uh, elementary comments, um, get some education and, you know, start your own YouTube channel. Let's see how you do. But, uh, yeah, so hope y'all enjoy today's video. Uh, it's just of one tank. This is where it's a quarantine system. That's where I have all these fish at. And I'm pointing down here because it's right here. Uh, if my phone falls, it would literally fall inside of this toad and be broken. <clears throat> so, yeah. Let me know what y'all think down below. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And we'll see y'all next time. Adios. <clears throat> so here you can see the little guppy looking guys on my left sided live bears now something I've read about these in a lot of places is uh, they're hard to breed because males can only breed off one side and females can only breed off one side so you have to find a male and a female that are compatible from the same side that they breed 
Uh, it's a misconception. Uh, that's not actually the truth. Uh, I read a scientific study. Uh, one of the few bits of information on these fish out there uh, that that's just simply not true. Um, this is supposedly a rare, a rarer type live bear. Uh, I've got 10 of these guys, I think four, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have 11 or 12 of these guys, I'm sorry. <clears throat> 11 or 12 of them uh, and then another harder to find type fish that I have you can kind of see under here and you can see earlier inside the video is a panda loach uh, these guys are a little harder to find uh, than some of your other loaches uh, smaller species of loach only get about two inches uh, and a uh, cool fact about them is a lot of people think that uh, they lose that color as they get older. Uh, they don't really use, they don't really lose it, but uh, their pattern shifts. Uh, it looks more like a uh, kind of like a uh, a little bit like a yo-yo loach pattern, uh, but it doesn't have the y o y o uh, pattern. Uh, it's a little bit like that. There's a better shot of one of those panda loaches. Really pretty species. Uh, and the beta that I have in here, uh, it's a placat. All right, so like I was saying uh, before my phone so rudely cut me off because I don't have enough space on here, uh, that, that beta that you were looking at is a placat. Uh, it's a koi beta. And... Uh, it's a color morph. Uh, it's one of your more expensive bettas. I got a good deal on it though. And you can also see some, what I like to call chocolate bushy nose plecos. Uh, I have a group of five of these. Uh, chocolate or black, whatever you want to call them. Got five of those guys, and that's pretty much it. So, this is one of the projects I've been working on. Um, now, all these fish won't be staying in this tote, and the water isn't cloudy. Here, let me show you. So, I don't have anybody trying to say that it's cloudy. It's actually the tote that it's in, see? Uh, it's kind of an opaque tote. <clears throat> you can see there water is crystal clear I uh, got a lot of plants in here I got some storaging ribbons s ribbons but yeah so got some left-sided live bears got some regular old bushy nose plecos a koi placat and some panda loaches now with the panda loaches I have three of those three panda loaches and this is kind of a quarantine setup uh, it's a little 29 gallon tote you can see it doesn't have to be an aquarium let me focus it here here we go 29 gallon tote doesn't have to be an aquarium got a thermometer in there got a heater which you can see right there I got a moving bed filter I got that little air driven filter and then there's some biomedia in there that I use to cycle things fast. Yeah, a little quarantine setup. Uh, I am doing a planted tank very soon. Uh, did pick up a sponsor, a very cool sponsor, and I'll be doing a bunch of reviews for them. Uh, for them sending me this stuff getting a lot of cool stuff so stay tuned for that I uh, just wanted to give y'all a sneak peek of a few fish that I had that no one has seen yet these guys are really cool can't wait to start breeding them 
See that koi betta back there? Really nice coloration. Uh, the panda loaches are kind of reclusive. Uh, they, I mean, they come out, but once they see that I'm here, uh, it's no bueno. They they take off and hide under those pots and stuff. But yeah, and one thing I've noticed about these left-sided live bears so far is that uh, they need to eat a lot. Um, it's weird. Uh, for as small as they are, you can see one of the panda loaches at the bottom here. Let me see if I can get them. Yep. And as quick as he came out, he was gone. Oh, there's one. Got three of those little guys in there. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff going on in there. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, to those of you that asked where I get my fish at, uh, I really like to shop at uh, Imperial Tropicals. Uh, I really like that place. Uh, Mike over there is a really really cool cat uh, Definitely takes care of his customers uh, I've gotten a lot of stuff from them. My dovi came from them uh, These left-sided live bears came from them uh, My gold nugget plecos came from them uh, Let's see what else do I have that came from them I have some other stuff that came from them uh, but Anytime I order online, uh, the first place I go is Imperial Tropicals. Uh, that place, I mean, they have healthy fish, they have a great selection. And you just can't beat their prices. I really enjoy Imperial Tropicals. So, there you go. Uh, I'll leave a link to Imperial Tropicals in the description below, so if you want to check them out, order you some fish, definitely do so. Let them know Jeff sent you. So yeah, so that's about it for today's video. I appreciate y'all watching, as always. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is what I'm doing, this is what I've done. Happy fish keeping and stay true to the hobby. Peace. Yeah, pretty baby. Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on, gotta get down. There you go, ah. come on. You gotta get off my head. You can't ah. ride the head. Come on. Ah. Come on, baby. There you go. There you ah. go. What a good bird. Oh, you're so good. Uh oh. Riding the aquarium? Come on. Come on. Get off the aquarium. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Pretty, baby. Oh, you're so beautiful.